Security control, Carter here, Mr. Mosby. 3 a.m. check-in. Everything normal. Thank you, Carter. Well, the hive's a bit spooky this time of night. Don't worry, sir. We'll look after you. Yes, but why? We never did trust computers. Well, we can discuss IT policy some other time. Where's Byron? Checking the switch room. The circuits are all overloading. Someone's in here. Third floor. When was the last time we had an intruder at the hive? Once in 15 years. And now tonight. My first time as duty officer. Did you see them? No. But well, they must be in here. Don't move away, shoot! I guess, but I think your network just crashed. I just love old buildings. It's very, um... It's got so much potential. And you need to find somewhere in a hurry. Yeah, I wouldn't have believed it possible to find anything as quick as you did, Alex. It's been empty for years. Huh. You don't say. I bet the owners were pleased when you came along. Did I do the right thing? Thank you. I'm very grateful. It's cheap. I was homeless and hey. No, I'm not. Uh, tell me one thing, though, Alex. How did you manage to sort out the legalities so quickly? I cheated a bit. Hmm. Backdated some details on certain computers. Hmm. Little tricks Ros taught me. Hmm. Well, you know, you shouldn't always take Ros as a role model. She's still blaming you for Terry's death. But that's so unfair. It'll take a little bit of time for things to get back to normal. Beckett, she kicked you out. Yeah, well, perhaps things were just going a little bit too fast. Too fast? Ed and I thought you were never going to get it together. It was a long time, Alex. So, you're just going to leave it? Look, right now, Ros needs some space, and that's exactly what I'm going to give her. Hello, Alex. Jan? There's been a break-in at the Hive. I need you over there straight away. The Hive, right. Ross will join you there. Oh, and, uh, Alex, don't let Beckett know about this. I want him back here at the Bureau. Separate assignments. Good idea. Uh, Beckett's making a go of this bureau, too, is he? Yes, sir, very much so. Never really fitted in here. Too rebellious? Free-thinking? 
Not really one of our sort. Exactly, Fosio. In that case, I'm very surprised you asked us to investigate the break-in. We thought you were the best people for this rather unusual problem. So how did a teenager manage to break through your security? I want you to find out, Miss Henderson. You interview the girl. Perhaps you can get through to her. Your clerk here can check how much damage she caused. I'm not actually her. Ah, Mosby. He was on duty last night when it all happened. If you liaise with him, Miss... Um... I'd be delighted. Alex Jordan, Bureau 2 field officer. Show me what's left of the server. Children of your own? Uh, no. You've got all this to come, then. Hello, Carly. You're Ros Henderson, aren't you? Alt.conspiracies.uk. The internet. There's loads of stuff out there about Bureau 2. And the Hive. Yes, sir. Very clever. Is that how you managed to find out how to break in here? Wouldn't you like to know, eh? <laughs> I couldn't do it. Get real? Of course you could. Carly, did you make this yourself? Give me that back. You don't seem to realise what you've done. Come on. Don't tell me you didn't do this kind of stuff when you were young. <laughs> well, we're talking about you. What are your parents going to think? I don't have any parents. I live in a home. You haven't been doing your homework, have you? Why did you break in? Because I could to make people take me seriously. It's a difficult age, 14. Oh, yeah, and how would you know? Tell me how you managed to break in here. Who do you reckon? That's my little secret. Carly. Look, it's a gift, OK? Can I go now? <sighs> She's a genius, an absolute genius, but if I spend one more minute in her company, one of us won't come out alive. I hope that was a figure of speech. We've just made arrangements to make you Carly's official guardian. <laughs> You're joking, yeah? It's only for 48 hours. Why? There's a place available at the Applied Technology Academy. It's for adolescents with very high IQ. I know what it is. They have a strict entrance policy, Roz. I want you to make sure that Carly gets in there. Do I look like a teacher? She's a mixed-up kid. She needs someone. <sighs> so now I'm a social worker. If we don't give her a nudge in the right direction, she'll turn into a professional criminal. Oh, Roz the role model? Just do your best. But if she ends up in jail, I'm going to hold you personally responsible. All right, you two. Run me through the plans for the airport. The plane lands at 11.20, comes to this gate where the van is waiting, the box is transferred to the van, and drives to the museum. The minister's on. I spoke to Museum's Heritage Minister, John Quayle. The funeral mask of the God King Ajacinta is a fabulous, mouth-watering piece of pre-Columbian art. Solid gold, two of the largest rubies in the world, a 500 carat diamond and 20 superb emeralds. It's 1,200 years old and it's never left South America before. I said there was a lot riding on this. Security has been a problem, but we've the best possible team looking after it. A testimonial, eh? We're extremely grateful to President Corinto for allowing us to display the mask. I can assure him that we'll guard it with our lives. He means you. And we hope that many thousands will take the opportunity to view it once the exhibition opens tomorrow. 1,200 years of history. Sounds like my new flat. 
All the kid would tell us was that she introduced a random mailer agent into our network. So it threw chunks of your data out into cyberspace? Yes. And we've no idea where to. And that's the point, Mr. Filsinger. The software picks destinations at random. What files were sent? All sorts, but personnel was badly affected. Right. What's your name again? Mosby. Adam. Adam Mosby. What are you doing? Trying a web search engine. Looking for personnel files. Ah. It's my file. Yep. It's ended up on the homepage of The Twitcher. A bird watching magazine. <laughs> I think losing the tash was a sound idea. Thanks. Can you get the data back? Not from here. I'll have to go to these uh, Twitcher people and recover it bite by bite. Perhaps I'd better come as well to identify any other files they may have. Oh, they let you out occasionally, do they? <laughs> the editor's called Spencer. Did he have any idea of the sensitivity of the stuff he's got? Well, he just kept on about a lesser white throat, whatever that is. It's a warbler, summer visitor. Sorry, <laughs> I had a boyfriend once who was mad on ornithology. I'm afraid some of it stuck. I could never see the point of ornithology. Good. It's not the easiest bird to photograph. But we had this lovely shot for the cover. We put the new shoe together last night. But when we came in this morning, look what we found. <laughs> All this stuff about some ancient funeral mask. It's not of any interest to my readers at all. I don't believe it. This is a bureau file. Your security plan for the arrival of the funeral mask. Have you seen it before? No, but I can read. This got here because of the girl's random mailer. But what was a bureau file doing on a hive computer in the first place? I'm sorry, we'll have to impound this machine. What about the new issue? My subscribers. How big's your circulation? 746. In that case, you've time to call them all and explain. Excuse me, Adam. I have to warn Beckett and Ed. Yeah, I'd better call them as well. To buy somewhere, mate. Give her a couple of weeks, it'll all blow over. I'm not so sure, something's changed. Come on, no way. You guys are perfect for each other. Doesn't look that way. Excuse me. Yes, Alex. The plane's on its final descent. She'll be on the ground in 10 minutes. Thanks, Gary. If Alex is right, anyone could have got to know about the mask. Time for stage one, I think. Anything? Not that I can see, but, uh, play to the gallery anyway. Get this straight to the museum, no stopping. Wait, it's not to overdo it. So far, so good. And now stage two. Carry your bag, sir. I think I can manage. Everything under control. Yeah, we'll get back to you later. Now for the 
final stage. Thanks for this, Gary. We owe you one. They knew everything about our operation, right down to the last detail. There was a leak, and it came from here. I can't agree. Our security file was only sent to the Bird magazine because it was on your system when Carly ran amok. What was a bureau file doing on a Hive computer? Uh, whose computer did this file come from? Alex? Well, Adam Mosby's. But that doesn't mean... Mosby? Still a probationer. He hasn't undergone his final vetting assessment yet. I'm sure Adam's nothing to do with it. I can't believe it either. Still, let's be sure I'll dig into his background, make sure he's clean. Yes, as quickly as possible, and keep Jan's people informed. If Mosby is the rotten apple, he'll be the one who needs the funeral mask. Find somewhere to sit, but don't... Don't touch anything, yes, I know. The Academy is the perfect place for you, you know. All I have to do is write you a recommendation and... Yeah. I'll... Won't stand a chance then, will I? All you have to do is a simple practical test. I'm not doing any test. <sighs> Believe me, Carly, you won't find it difficult. Yeah, I know. Is this a recordable DVD? Yeah. Ultra speed modems? Uh huh? What chips are you using? P7s? P7. Full MMX, 100 gig removable hard drive, and 10 gigs of RAM. But Carly, this is as nothing compared to what they have at the Academy. Yeah, yeah, whatever. This is the kit of components they give you to work with. Your challenge is to make what the Academy call a life-saving device. Boring. You can do it, though, yes? Yeah, of course I can do it. Looks obvious. There's a transmitter. They mean one of those bleeper things that old people have in case they fall over. Great. Now all you have to do is make it. Why bother? It's so basic. Then it won't take you long. I'm not doing it. I don't care about the Academy and I definitely don't want to save old people. You're only telling me to do this because your boss made you. So, uh, he's still living with his parents, then? He's saving up for a flat. Oh. Taking quite a chance this boss, isn't you, eh? <laughs> Just because your personal life's a mess, don't take it out on me. It's not in a mess. He's on the move. Yeah. Sneaking out. Must be past his bedtime, eh? security footage. Lisa Nightingale. A jeweler by trade, but definitely not the high street kind. <laughs> this is a mega security system he's designed here. It's a bit over the top of some old mask, isn't it? It's a very ancient funeral mask, and it's worth a fortune. Up. You shouldn't be looking at this. Indeed, you shouldn't. Oh, don't give me another lecture, please. How's it going? Don't ask. Mr. Filsinger, what can we do for you? I put together some personal data on Adam Mosby. I thought it's safer to bring it in myself. Who's this? The woman who tried to steal the mask. <laughs> Carly! How did you do that? I'm just experimenting. Well, don't. You bored, Carly? Out of my mind. Why don't I take her off your hands for a couple of hours? Carly? Anything to get away from you. There's an arcade around the corner. It has the latest Japanese games. Has it got Manic Street Racer? I do hope so. Let's find out. You are a saint. You'll need this. What's that? 
homework. Carly, make a start in it at least. And you should wear this. Bureau ID. Otherwise, you won't get past security. Don't wait up. Bring it back in two hours. No rush. Or when I run out of money. <laughs> Doesn't he ever use doors? I'm sure there's a perfectly rational explanation for all this. Do you know whose house this is? <laughs> She's listed in Adam Mosby's file as one of his known associates. The same woman. Lisa Nightingale. Come on. I've only had one go. You've beaten everybody once. Anyway, there's people I want you to meet. Have a seat. This is Carly. I've heard so much about you. This is Dan, a friend of mine. Welcome aboard, Carly. What? I understand you're hoping to go to the new tech academy. Yeah, but I've got to do this stupid test first, and then Wells has to give me a recommendation, so... You don't think she will? Why should she? She hates me. Maybe there's a way you can impress her. Make her so grateful she'll give you a perfect recommendation to the Academy. How? Ready, Ed? Yeah, just dropping in now. Do you think I can't get through these lasers of yours? Well, if you can't, no one can. Coming in now. Your system works all right. Of course it does. I don't think anyone else would have even gone this close. You get yourself unhitched, I'll switch this off. I tried six other entry points from a horizontal plane earlier, but they were all impregnable too. Okay, Ed, let's check the power room. to the hive last night, showed up the floors in our security, you did us a favour. So I'd be doing the same for Rose, wouldn't I? That's it. She'd be very impressed. Mm. Off you go. Ed, be careful. Ed, be quick, yeah? This is embarrassing. with you? Uh, yeah, but, um, he's unavailable. What do you mean, unavailable? 
Well, I do. Well, of course. Why do you ask? You seem to be avoiding me. No, I, I thought you were... Uh, look, never mind. Filsinger's locked us in. Oh. Well, that fits. Mosby was telling us what seemed like a cock and bull story. He said that Phil Singer set him up. Well, he could easily have doctored Adam's personal file. Yeah, and then got him to break into Dent's place. What? Yes, we found him lurking in Dent's garden. Phil Singer told him he'd find evidence here. I think it was just a big diversion to keep us off the trail. Adam must be feeling pretty sick. Disillusioned. He's not the only one. Roz, good system, but not quite perfect. Carly. I'm gonna kill her. Well done. When do we tell Roz? She'll jump at mine. Oh, I bet she will. Do we should get her out of that room now? Yeah, she'll be okay. Do you want to put the mask in the car? What for? Open the door, please, Dan. He's got a gun. Don't be silly. I'm not blind. Look, what's going on? Give us the mask now, Carly. Come on, Carly. You conned me. You made me steal it, didn't you? Thank you very much for helping us. Why did you make me steal it? We could give you some money if that would make you feel any better. All right, but I want a cut. A third. Don't be stupid. You're only a child. Don't talk to me like that. You couldn't do this without me. Get her. Carly! Carly! Well, I put her tracer on her when she left the bureau, so she can't have gone far. OK, I'll check inside for Filsinger. OK. Why did you steal the mask? I didn't. <laughs> what were you doing? Borrowing it? It wasn't stealing. You left me a note. They tricked me. Filsinger? Yes, that's right, Miss Henderson. Give us the mask now, Carly. No. Please. I haven't got it. You had it just now. I've hidden it. Where? Find it yourself. Stolen by a child. I was led to believe your people were the best, dear I see. Carly didn't act alone, Minister. I don't care if the whole of her school was involved. If word of this gets out, nobody will ever lend us an art treasure again. There'll be no more French Impressionists from Paris, no more Tutankhamun relics from Cairo. Minister, I understand your concern. This country will become a cultural leper colony. We'll be ostracized. We'll get it back. The exhibition opens tomorrow morning. If that mask isn't back in place by then, there'll be a sudden rise in unemployment. Is that a laser cutter? Don't touch it, Carly. It's for cutting up the mask. Would you like to see it in action? Yeah. Then tell us where you put it. What's it worth? Oh, this is ridiculous. Carly, if you don't tell us where the mask is, I'll kill Roz. I don't care. I don't like her anyway. All she does is moan at me all the time. 
Lock him up downstairs. She'll change her mind when she gets hungry. Electromagnet keeps the door locked any time the mains power is on. It's a safety device to stop anyone getting crushed by the lift when it's in operation. How sweet. Think about it. There must be a way to force it out of the kid. We cannot let months of planning go for nothing because of some brat. Hang on. Maybe we can still make some money. As far as the authorities are concerned, we've got the mask. As long as we've got those two locked up, nobody knows any difference. Great, now we're never going to get out of here. We wouldn't be here at all if you thought through the consequences of what you do. Oh, don't start. Here we are stuck in the bottom of a lift shaft left to die and all you can do is moan at me. <sighs> Carly, I'm just trying to make you think. You're only here because you followed me. Why did you put the stupid bug on me in the first place? You didn't trust me, did you? Of course I didn't trust you. No one ever does. And whose fault is that? It's so easy to blame everyone else, isn't it? Go on, explain it to me. How exactly did they get you to steal for them? They said it would impress you. Oh, Carly. You stole the mask so I'd sign you into the Academy, didn't you? Fat chance of that now. dentist it is. If he finds out, I'll let you in here. He won't. Look, we're both on the same side. We've got to stop a priceless work of art being lost. Yes, but this really isn't the Besides, right Besides, we spoke up for you at Dents. True. In any case, maybe there's something I can do for you. Ah, this is more like it. Phil Singer's accounts. Getting warm. Regular monthly payments? Yes, to a property agent. It's rent. This lease is a jeweler. She must have some kind of workshop. I remember when I was 14. All too well. That was the first time I got arrested. Arrested? Why? I was like you. Young, bored, very clever with technology. There was a fad for CB radio then. I played around with the set one night. I made it sound like there'd been a huge crash on the motorway. I was very good at it. I had everyone fooled. Police, fire crews, ambulance, everybody. The night, it was full of sirens and flashing blue lights. Wow, what happened? Chaos. Complete chaos. But there was a real fire that night in a house around the corner. Fire crews took 20 minutes to get there because of me. Three people spent a week in hospital. Smoke inhalation. But they were right, weren't they? Yeah. But it could so easily have been worse. That's terrible. I know. Life's not a game, Carly. You can't just put another coin in the slot. These are the agent's accounts which match the rent Phil Singer was paying. I'm cross-checking using the commencement dates. Look, the address. There's something you should see.
Carly, look at this. There's an access panel in the bottom of the lift. Do you think you could reach it? I'm not good at high jump. How about gymnastics? Ready? One, two, two three. three. The mask is perfectly safe. We will tell you where to collect it after we receive a finder's fee of five million pounds. You're not going to pay him. The minister the doesn't want to take any chances. Safe. The money's being arranged now. Where to handle the drop? Beckett, you ride shotgun on the payment. I'll check out the workshop. Get onto the bureau. Tell them where we are and where to find the mask. And Carly, be careful. Okay. Do something for me, you said. What had you in mind? How about I let you take me to dinner? Great. My car's just here. Please, please, can someone hear me? Is this working? Hey, Beckett, anyone? Hello, Carly. Can you speak up? I can hardly hear you. No, who will hear me. Listen, Ross is a prisoner. We're at a workshop at some industrial estate. We know. Ed's on his way. Where's the mask? I've hidden it. At the discount electrical shop in the Five Way Shopping Centre. I know where that is. I've used the Academy key to make a transmitter. I've stuck it to the mask. The power's weak, but you should get a signal at 26 kilohertz. I know. How did you get out? Carly? We lost her. You should have let me do this. No, I need you right where you are. When they come to collect, I want you to make sure that they don't get very far. Alex says they probably don't even have the mask. But until I have it, I can't take the risk. I think we have a problem. You don't say. The shop's full of ambient RF signals. There's no way we'll get a signal from Carly's transmitter. We'll just have to turn everything off. It's them. Show us the cash. OK, close it up. Got a clean signal yet? Not yet. Keep switching them off. Bring home the cash. Beck 
it. We found it. The mask's safe. Jan, Alex has the mask. Great. Well, my mark, Beckett. Now. isn't it? Yes, amazing. Have you heard the old legend about it? No. They say that after the God King died, young couples would go to his grave to see what the future held for them. Really? If the God King didn't approve of the match, a terrible screaming was heard issuing from the mask. And what kind of noise did it make if the couples were destined for each other? If they were well matched and fated to live together in perfect love and harmony, this would be signified by an absolute silence. <laughs> this has potential. Yeah, well, it's an old Bureau of Weapons safe house, so it's, uh, it's got a real sense of history. You can say that again. The wine, on the other hand, is rather young. Yeah, well, next time, perhaps you could bring your own. Thank you, Ross. Beckett, come and look at this. Oh, thank you. 
I wasn't sure you'd come. Neither was I. Cheers. Cheers. But we are still friends. Nothing more. I can't keep you on separate assignments, you know. Yeah, I know. Um, that's not necessary, thank you. We're adults and we'll deal with this. <laughs> Beckett seems to be handling this rather better than I expected. Problem is, with him, you never can tell. <laughs> <laughs> OK, come on, what's the joke? Uh, uh, Department of Juvenile Affairs official report. Case number 45G678472. Overweening self-confidence. No respect for authority. Let me, let me have a look. <laughs> Precocious in the extreme. <laughs> Unlikely to settle into any kind of work. Quite unmanageable. <laughs> That's not fair. Carly's reformed. She managed to get into the academy. <laughs> Who said anything about Carly? This is from a personnel file found in the archive on a, uh, on a very difficult teenager named... Um, named Ross Henderson. <laughs> <laughs> Where did you get this? 